Hey, Boathead, Zach here. It's not Leap Day. It's Blackened Whiskey Day, and look who's with me. That's the right. drummer from the greatest rock band ever, Lars Ulrich, everybody from Metallica. How are you, man? <laughs> Thank you. That's, uh, it's Leap Day. It's, uh, we're out of the house. We're backstage. Look at this. If you can see, we're... Uh, Hanging backstage at Bevmo Milpitas. Come on! <laughs> yeah, that's Come right. on! We're Come unveiling on! the new Batch 99. We want to get into that here in a little bit. But, man, it's always good to see you again. It's right been a while. Right back at you. Right back Time at flies you. since yeah. uh, the Chase Center opening and the SNL That was, uh, yeah, uh, six months ago, yeah. Um, what a crazy uh, homecoming that was. Oh, crazy, was cool homecoming. The uh, Metallica fans from all over the world descending on San Francisco for those three or four days, uh, you know, just kind of driving around the city and seeing the Metallica fans represent their countries and, you know, just uh, the whole, uh, the, the, the culture of Metallica was super cool. And um, playing those couple shows, opening the new Chase Center. I've been back to the Chase Center a couple, two, three times. I was gonna ask you that. Yeah. I was gonna say, so my first show was seeing your band. Right. What was your first show to uh, watch? The first show was uh, Elton John. Okay, that's about, what I would have guessed. Uh, about a week later, a couple mm -hmm. weeks later, it was great. Uh -huh. Super cool, and uh, we've been back a couple times, and uh, it's great to have a world-class arena right in the heart of San Francisco, and um, and obviously it's great to go to Oakland. It was great to go, uh, great to go to San Jose, but to have a a uh, an arena that level in the city is awesome for for us that live. Uh, kind of in the North Bay. It has been saying? awesome for all of us. You know what I'm saying? You, you always remember your first. And uh, my first trip to the Chase Center was to see Metallica <laughs> S&M too. And, uh, you know, that's just uh, just an amazing way for all of us to remember the opening of this historic place. Right. But they learned their lesson because had they not invited Metallica to open up the Chase Center, they would have just put on their own event like they did the night before, which we did a few years ago when the Super Bowl said, you guys might be a little bit too good for our halftime show. So what did you do? You took over the night before. Um, <laughs> listen, we, uh, let's not get into too much of, of the political stuff in that, but um, playing at the night before in, was that 16? Yeah. Uh, was great because yeah. we were just kind of winding down the making of the next album, which obviously uh, was hardwired to self-destruct. Came out six, nine months after that. And um, so when we make records, uh, we love to, well, generally, we love to get out of the house as much as we can. And so we were making that record. And, you know, when you get an email saying, come and play at the, at the baseball park and, and be part of Super Bowl weekend and the festivities and the shenanigans in San Francisco, that's obviously not something that you turn down. But uh, we just love always engaging and, and, you know, and obviously being a part of anything that celebrates San Francisco, mm -hmm. the Bay Area, and our roots here. Uh, we came up here 37 years ago. That's crazy. Um, and so, and we fly the flag for the San Francisco, for San Francisco and the Bay Area all over the world. So anytime we get a chance to engage, obviously at a local level, is also always cool. Like today? Yeah. Like, here like we are, today. Right? Like we are today in Milpitas. Man, yeah. you got to be so happy with, uh, you know, everything you guys do is top notch. Thank and, you. And then to do a, a release of whiskey and to do it in such a special way. You guys got to be very proud of this. And here Thank we are you. unveiling yeah. batch number 99 today. There you right? go. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, what are we, year and a half? September 2018. Yeah, so a year and a half right on the nose. And, um, you know, it, it it's obviously been a, it's a long time dream of ours to have our beverages to be able to get our fans to connect to us through, you know, beverages and through culture. And I, I think, you know, in the last maybe 10 years, start thinking a little bit, casting the net a little bit wider about how just to connect with the fans and, and get people into different elements of Metallica and the Metallica lifestyle. And so obviously a few, other bands and some of our peers have done different levels of beverages and what we try to do is just sort of you see what everybody else is doing we try to figure out how we can make it you know metallicize it as much as possible make it our own thing make sure that you know if i have to stand in front of the banner with you <laughs> and these guys <laughs> and so on that i mode. can feel good about this and and so you know anything that we get involved in i'd like to think that our fans after three and a half decades know that it's it's the real thing and it's something that we're proud of. It's something that we're part of the creative process. And it's something that we feel is really uh, something that we have ownership of. And, you know, I think, you know, back in the day, as, as you 
start looking at a couple of these different things and you know whether it's uh, you know making t-shirts or you know doing some of the things we've done with vans with shoes or with billabong or with um, some of the different companies it's like there's a there's a creative um, there's a creative part in those relationships and in those processes that I really get off and on and so to sit and kind of go if we're going to start doing some beverages who are the right people to get involved with who are the the people that really know this world how can we come in and tap into their creative energy and bring something to the table and so you know we spent a couple of years trying to brainstorm on that and then um a couple of years ago, Blackhand was born and was, uh, like John is saying, unleashed on the world about a year and a half ago. And uh, now you and I are standing backstage at a Bembo <laughs> store in Milpitas, California. And there's a few people outside. and, and yeah, it's quite a few. Super, As a matter of fact, they started at 2 o'clock in the morning. Super Could I tell you cool. that? They started running up at 2 in the morning. It's crazy. It's to, so uh, cool. to see Lars here because it's we're so unveiling cool. Batch 99. Now, the first mm -hmm. batch is 81. That's and right. you know why it started you know why? in 81. That's we know right. why. 81 was because the first. Because Metallica has been around 81 years. No, <laughs> That's wait. exactly right. That's not it. Because uh, the drummer is 81 years old. Uh, no. Wait, most of the time he feels uh, like he's 81 years old. Yeah. Wait, because we were born in 1981. There you go. Oh, 1981. God. And I got to tell you that the, the, the bottle I'm in the middle of drinking right now, not right at this moment, but right now, is a uh, batch 96. It's a Kirk okay. mix. Okay. But I want to let you know, 99 and 95 are the ones that are on my batch future, and they're both of yours. Okay. 95 you. starts off with I, For Whom the Bell Tolls. Thank you. And, I, and to explain this, okay, these are head banging barrels that this right. is, that this whiskey was this made This is in. not just any, there's not just, it, this is not just here for like no reason. That's just not a, a this number. This does correspond yes. to a batch, and I hear you ask, what is a batch? Mm -hmm. There is a song, so if you go to uh, blackand.com to, to, blackand to the website, then these batches correspond to playlists that have been selected by members of Metallica. And so we put these playlists together, and then as you're enjoying your tasty beverage, then you can listen to the same uh, playlists that this particular batch has been listening to while it's sitting in these big fuck-off barrels <laughs> in a very secret Location. And not just listening yeah, to them, yeah. though. They're actually shaking they're, to uh, it, though, right? They're listening, they're feeling, they're That's engaging, right, they're feeling they're the vibrations. Yeah. They're head like a whole, it's, it's so, uh, the word, just organic. This is so pure and organic and real. I, so when the, I, I, obviously, it's supposed to kind of be fun, so you, you can kind of laugh along now. <laughs> a little tongue-in-cheek. But so basically, there's a, a playlist, eight songs. Uh -huh. I try to put mine together with some deeper cuts, a couple of uh, the toe-tapping favorites uh, that you might know, and try to sequence them so they have some ebbs and flows like a Metallica set list uh, does when we play live. And, um, you know, we're at uh, 99. And can I just say here, this is kind of an exclusive, I, I don't think you're gonna get mad if I say this, but uh -oh. for batch number 100, right? Coming in when? In the, in the spring. In the spring. May, June, we have something very special planned that I'm not going to say much more about right now, but uh, we've been working for the last couple of months on a very special package for batch number 100. I can say that, right? Yeah, I just sure. did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. So, uh, so there's a very special package no coming for no. batch number 100. <laughs> So if you can't contain yourself, uh, you got that to look forward to. So, uh, by the way, when you uh, put together these playlists, so uh, does the mood, the, I want to know, should I be in the right mood? Do I look at the playlist and say, okay, that's the mood I'm in. That's the one I want to like, correspond to because you want to listen to that playlist while you're enjoying some black and whiskey. Yeah, like I said, it, you know, the main thing is to have fun with it. Yeah. You know, there's not a right way. There's not a wrong way. There's right, no, there's not a right way and a wrong way to listen to this, to drink <laughs> this. Any version is fine. And and this is obviously not school or your parents telling you what no you can't can do. Yeah. It's, it's supposed to be kind of light, like we say, but um, it is, you know, the fact that, it, you know, anything that we can do to connect with our fans, anything that we can do to make any experience that we do interactive, is what we enjoy and obviously it's about making the Metallica fans also feel a connection to to who we are and what we sort of bring to the table so you know the uh, the fact that uh, you can sit and you can if the Kirk you like Kirk's playlist or you like James's playlist or whatever and you can find the right batches you can trade with your friends you can 
hunt them down in Bedmo stores all over California or in um, whichever place is close to you, uh, wherever you are. If you're online? checking this out on, online. Uh, so it's supposed to be, like I said, kind of a tongue-in-cheek thing, but, um, but it is a, f a fact, uh, and this is what we worked with our master distiller, uh, rest in peace, Dave, who um, really came up with this, what's called sonic enhancing, and, and, and really you know, getting the tunes in there and uh, shaking, rumbling, and, and kind of affecting the, uh, the aging process. So it is real. And uh, we think it's kind of fun. It's, a, it's great, and it's great tasting, too, and everything the band does. Uh, we love it all, and <laughs> you will, too. Everything the band does is great tasting. Everything the band does tastes Here's great. Take, take they really do. Right they now. taste great all the time. Right. Right? We taste great. <laughs> Metallica so it tastes great. Man. I know we got hundreds of fans here <laughs> waiting to meet you here at the Abebo in Milpitas because uh, Lars has signed a bunch of these bottles for the new Batch 99. 600. 600 bottles. Yep. So uh, if you weren't able to get here to meet Lars, try to get down here and buy one of the autographed copies. Yeah. And uh, seriously, or thank you. You guys can give away a bottle. We hear that? We'll be giving away a bottle give on 1077 The Bone. <laughs> Lars just gave me permission to. That's right. I don't care what the FCC yeah. says. Actually, you know what? Give away two Okay, bottles. we're giving away two of them. <laughs> okay, I don't care. Okay, go. bosses? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, FCC, we're doing it. Lars Ulrich gave us permission to. Hey, That's thank fine. you so much for giving us some time. I know there's so many people here to see Always you. Always great to see you. Great to see Give you. Give my best to the rest of the gang. Yeah, you do the same. And um, we'll see you guys out there. Blackened whiskey, everyone. That's right, people. <laughs>